As Epictetus said, he is a wise man who does not grieve for things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. And that's gratitude, isn't it? It's the very base decision that we all have to make. Are you grateful for the things that you have in your life or are you always wanting more? And trust me, I get it. I understand people that strive for more. I understand people that want something bigger and better. But at the same time, if you allow yourself to only think about what you don't have, to only be striving for something more, that that obsession will begin to overtake you. It will begin to corrode you. But ultimately, it's a choice. Ultimately, at any time, right now, in this moment, you can stop and think about what you have. You can put your attention on the things that you're grateful for and watch what it does. Watch what it does in that instance, the way that it changes you, the way that it changes your chemistry, your feelings in a moment can shift from negative and dark to beautiful with nothing else changing around you, nothing but you deciding that you're gonna focus on the things you're grateful for. Nothing but deciding that there are things in your life to be grateful for, and that is a decision. No matter what is happening in your life at any moment, right now, in the depths of a depression, in something going on terribly in your life, you could choose right now to think about the things you're grateful for. The breeze, a smile from somebody kind, a stranger who holds open a door for you, anything. But it's a choice. And as Einstein said, there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. And what choice are you making? What are you choosing to focus on right now? Do you let gratitude fill you up or not? And here's the critical part, and I want you to listen to this really well. Whatever you decide, whether you decide we live in a world of miracles or whether you decide we live in a world devoid of miracles, you are choosing one thing to the exclusion of the other. And when you focus on something that you're grateful for, when you look at those little moments in your life and choose to see them as grand miracles, even when it is only a gentle hand on your shoulder, even when it's only a kiss from somebody who you've kissed a thousand times before, even when it is only holding the hand of somebody who needed their hand held, even when it's something that simple. It really is a miracle, that it really is something that can fill you. It really is something that will change your chemistry, bring a connection between two people, allow you to see a grander vista, or even just open a window and look out at the world and realize that you're alive, that this is all a miracle, that none of this is guaranteed, that every breath you take could be your last. And in that, you can choose to cherish what you have in that, you can decide to focus on that you have a breath to take. And even when it's something that simple, when you train your mind to do that, when you train yourself to decide to see the beauty in that, then nobody can ever take it away from you. And no matter where you are, no matter what's going on in your life, you'll be able to rise up and feel the beauty that is being alive. So take a minute at the worst times in your life and focus on the things that you're grateful for.